Hello everyone, welcome back to King Solutions, my name is Philip King. In this tutorial, you will learn how to upgrade ZAMP to the latest version on a Windows based computer, without losing your data. Before we begin, I would like to ask a favor from you. If you like our videos, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. Ok, let us begin. In this tutorial, you will learn how to upgrade ZAMP to the latest version. If you are updating ZAMP after a long time, be ready for some major changes. ZAMP no longer comes with the MySQL server. Since ZAMP version 5.5.30, ZAMP ships with MariaDB instead of MySQL. This means that copying MySQL data files to the new ZAMP installation will not work anymore. When updating ZAMP we face two challenges. 1. Moving all the site files. This portion is easy, just a simple copy and paste will do the trick. 2. Moving all the databases to the new server. This is the tricky part. The problem of moving all the databases to the new server is why most people do not update ZAMP. Maybe some Wiz programmer could write a utility to get around this problem. As you probably know, backing up all the databases one by one and then importing them to the new server is fraught with potential problems. It is also a long and really tedious task. As a WordPress user, you have probably seen the warnings from WordPress about using out-of-date PHP versions. The fundamental coding language of WordPress and many other web-based applications is PHP. You already know the importance of keeping WordPress, your themes, and plugins up to date. However, did you know that keeping PHP up to date is just as important? There are many benefits to keeping PHP up to date. For a start, your website will be faster. This is because the latest version of PHP is more efficient. Your website will also be more secure. PHP is a community maintained project, just like WordPress. The popularity of PHP makes it a target for hackers, but the latest version will include the newest security features. In addition, there are a number of secondary benefits. A faster WordPress website will rank higher in search engines. You will retain more visitors with a fast website, so making your website more effective. A more secure website resists hackers, and saves you the problems of rectifying a hacked website. These benefits are good for you, and good for your website's visitors. These are the reasons you should update PHP today, both on your main website, and your development environment. In the next section, I will show you how to upgrade ZAMP in your development environment. To run WordPress, it is recommended that your host supports PHP 7.4 or greater, MySQL 5.6 or greater, or MariaDB 10.1 or greater, Inks or Apache with mod underscore rewrite module, and HTTPS support. For detailed recommendations, see the WordPress hosting handbook. As with most things technical, updating your ZAMP version should not be a problem, but I cannot guarantee this. Also, although WordPress works with the latest PHP versions, some of your themes or plugins may not. Therefore, here are a couple of steps you should take to mitigate any risk before proceeding. 1. Update WordPress, your themes, and plugins, and check your site is working as expected. Two. Check PHP compatibility, install and run the PHP compatibility checker plugin to check your themes and plugins for possible issues. This plugin is not perfect, but it works in most cases. 3. Fix any PHP compatibility issues. 4. Make a backup of your websites. 5. Make a backup of your XAMPP installation. After running through these steps, you will be ready to update ZAMP and enjoy the benefits that come with this. After finalizing the previous tasks, complete the following steps to update ZAMP. Our first task is to backup all our current databases. To that end, 
we will create an SQL file named alldbdump.sql that contains all the MySQL server databases. The file will be created in the XAMPP folder. So, to begin. Open the XAMPP control panel as an administrator and start both Apache and MySQL. Click on the shell option. Run the following command to export all the databases. MySQL dump, dash u, root, dash p, dash dash, all databases, greater than, all db dump, dot sql. The MySQL dump client utility, backs up the original database object definitions and table data. The u root option, signifies the user, root in this case. The p option, signifies the password, none in this case. The all databases option, signifies the backup of all databases. The alldbdump.sql is the name of the output file. You can change this if you wish. If prompted for a password, just enter your password and hit enter to create the backup. Next, close the shell window, and stop, both Apache and the MySQL server. When that is done, quit the XAMPP control panel. Navigate to your XAMPP folder and copy the alldbdump.sql file to your desktop. Now rename the XAMPP folder to XAMPP fold. This ensures you still have your old setup should you need it. Our next job is to download and install the latest version of XAMPP. So, download the latest version of XAMPP from the SourceForge repository, and install it in the same location as your old XAMPP. When the installation is complete, open the XAMPP control panel as administrator. And start both Apache. And the MySQL server. Ensure both are working correctly before proceeding. Now it's time to restore your old XAMPP file structure. So, copy the XAMPP old slash htdocs folder, to the new XAMPP slash htdocs folder. At this point, you probably also need to restore your XAMPP PHP ENI configuration. When updating your configuration files, you might like to look at your old configuration files to retrieve the old settings. To that end, open the XAMPP PHP ENI file for editing in your text editor, and set the values you require. For my WordPress development system, I use the following values. Remember, both post max size and memory limit, need to be larger than upload max file size. Make them both high enough so large files can work on the server. Now restart both Apache and the MySQL server. Now it's time to restore the databases. To do this, open phpMyAdmin in your browser. You should see nothing but the default databases present. Click the Import tab. Now click the Browse button and retrieve the alldb dump SQL file we saved earlier. When ready click on the Go button. The import of data may take some time, depending upon the number of databases you have. If all goes well, you will get the message, import has been successfully finished. You should also see that your databases have indeed been installed. Before we do anything else, we now need to upgrade the database to the latest MySQL. To do this, go to the XAMPP control panel and click on the shell button. With the shell open, run the command MySQL upgrade. This will upgrade all the database tables to the latest MySQL format. You should definitely run MySQL upgrade after upgrading from one major MySQL or MariaDB release to another. It is also safe to run MySQL upgrade for minor upgrades as necessary.
Go ahead and check that your site and databases are working properly. If you have followed my instructions, then you should have a functioning XAMPP with no issues. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, then please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show your support. You should also check out the King Solutions website, the links are below the video. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.